all right what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video we are back on schedule new week back with another scholarship video and this week we're gonna talk about canadian universities a eh? like did you see what i did there anyway so to get started i'm gonna just give you guys a quick like debrief on why i deviated from the u.s based colleges and why we're doing canadian universities today essentially canadian universities are 16 to 38 percent cheaper than u.s based schools and i know that affordability is a huge factor when it goes to college decisions for many of you guys so this is going to be a great option for you to consider now the affordability comes both in terms of tuition fee as well as living expenses relatively significantly cheaper in Canada as compared to the US. Also, Canadian universities have three times higher acceptance rates than US based schools. Now, with all that said, I know that you're probably thinking that, you know, then why haven't we be been like talking and going to Canada all this time? And why, why is everyone chasing schools in the US? There is one con to all of this, which is that the employment rate in Canada is slightly lower when compared to the US, just because, uh, you know, cutting edge technology, the job opportunities in the US, it is a first world country and that's what attracts a lot of young individuals but not to worry today we're going to look at some of the best canadian universities and take a look at the scholarships that they offer for you guys so for all of you guys that don't know who i am my name is saloni verma i'm a biomedical engineer who's currently working in new york i have studied at harvard medical school i've done my master's from cornell university and you know i feel like i'm not doing too bad for myself so i feel like you know i'm a good, in a good spot to give you guys advice just because i've gone through this entire process in the last few years of my life and the first thing we're going to start off is by comparing the tuition fee offered between canadian universities and u.s colleges so i know that um there are different like fields of um study that kids want to go into so i'm just going to take like a broad, broad spectrum you can expect canadian uh schools to have a tuition fee anywhere between 30 to forty-five thousand dollars per year this is pre-financial aid before any scholarship whether you're planning to do arts science engineering business it'll typically range in that like bucket and it's significantly lower because when you look at u.s based schools the tuition fee in the u.s is more than fifty thousand dollars and the important thing to consider consider here is the the amount that I'm talking about in Canada is Canadian dollars, which is again, a lot cheaper than US dollars. All right, so I spent a ton of time this week, you know, researching universities in Canada, and I found a lot of great information. Some universities honestly don't even require you to fill an application when signing up for these financial aids or scholarship. So what exactly is it that they're trying to look for? I'm gonna go back to like what this entire channel essentially preaches, which is you're a wholesome profile. You need to make sure that you're not just chasing grades which is a good thing don't get me wrong but extracurricular activities what projects you're involved with what do you do to go out of your way to show them that you're actually you know a student who's willing to learn and that goes a long way when a college makes a decision on whether a student gets financial aid or not so without any further delays let's talk about university number one on the canadian schools list which is university of waterloo so just to give you a little background this university is located in, in Ontario in the Ontario province and it's very well known for its computer science program and literally has a ton of good scholarships for international students one of the ones that highlighted and stood out to me the most was the fact that they give ten thousand dollars to 20 international students each year who come in with greater than 90 percent in their high school and transcripts so it's completely merit-based and I feel like that's just so fulfilling and so like fair because no matter where you're coming from it shows that they're awarding kids who've done hard work and keeping the whole like citizenship and immigration stuff aside so definitely check that one out so the next university that we're going to talk about is one that's really known for journalism engineering and economics and this one is carleton university again in the ontario province and this university offers entrance scholarships for american and international high school students as long as you have an aggregate high school grade of 80 percent and above the best part is it's renewable every single year so wow that's like okay amazing the third one on our list is the university of british columbia in vancouver again a top-notch university definitely check it out whether you're looking for undergraduate or graduate programs it has a variety of those and the best part is scholarships are available again on entrance exam basis 
where the more the better like high school grades you have the more you'll be able to qualify for entrance based international student scholarships and again they have multiple other scholarships like outstanding international student awards which are which is basically a one time merit based entrance exam scholarship that is awarded and there are international tuition awards for graduate students who study in the University of British Columbia. The fourth one on our list today is George Brown College. I know that this isn't super famous, but check this out. This this college really gives, you know, um international students a chance to study, especially for those who don't have like a 90 or an 80% aggregate in high school. So the George Brown College is located in downtown Toronto, so the Ontario province, and they have international student scholarships that are available for students who apply to this college uh in any full-time program in any year and all that they need to do is have a minimum GPA of 2.5 which isn't all that high. The other scholarship that this college provides is the post-secondary scholarship for international students which is basically again for any student who's enrolled in George Brown College for full-time um and has a minimum GPA of 3.5. This scholarship is specifically for graduate students in this college. So, you know, for someone so for someone who's looking with like average grades, this one is definitely a good one for you guys to check out. And the last one, five on the list is the University of Toronto. Like how can I miss that, right? Like I know you guys must have thought that I forgot about it. Like no, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Come on. University of Toronto is like the biggest and the most well-renowned universities in Canada. And of course there are there are scholarships that are provided to international students in the University of Toronto, which is again located in the Ontario district. So Toronto University provides the Lester B Pearson International Scholarship, which is basically awarded to international students who are enrolled in the University of Toronto and right out of their high school. This is to, again to recognize students who've demonstrated exceptional academic achievement and those who are leaders in their school. But the one thing that I want to like point out over here is something that really stood out while Toronto University of Toronto offers this scholarship that has recently come up. They don't offer financial aid. Something that really stood out when I was doing my research was check this out. Under their Q and A, frequently asked Q and A, they have uh, stated that the University of Toronto is a publicly funded institution, and because of that, cannot offer financial aid to international students. If you are an international applicant, you should find out about your home country's financial aid programs to see if you qualify for assistance. Like. No, like what the hell? This is just not cool. University of Toronto, if you're watching this, like come on, you have to help out international students. They need they need this. Like this is just not okay. But for everyone else who's watching this, because I got you, you know, you're the crazy Medusa family. I'm going to list out some of the few financial aid options that you can consider if U of T is a big option for you. These other external financial aid sources can be really useful. and they'll be able to you know help you through this entire like uh program so i'm going to put a screenshot of that on the screen right now and you guys can check those out if you need to All right, and that is about it. Like I'm keeping this short and simple. We talked about five Canadian universities. If you think I missed any of them, drop them in the comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe already. Wait, hold on. I'm not done with the video right now. So, I'm starting this new trend or a new tradition on the channel, you can say. I'm going to pick any one comment in from my previous videos and I'm going to just answer that because I feel like that question is very commonly asked and everyone can really benefit from it. So, one of the most recent comments on the channel has been by Abhijit who has asked, "Ma'am, I want to know that is it compulsory to have bi biology in class 11 12 for biotechnology? I have only maths and can I still do it or not? Please reply. I'm currently in grade 12 PCM student." Thank you. So let's talk about this. You don't need to have a biology um in your grade eleven and twelve to do biotechnology in the U.S. or Canada. It does help as long as you can have as long as you show a strong like 
a statement of why you want to transition and suddenly do a bio related like field, you'll be fine. They may ask you to do some prerequisites. If you're if you have some time and you're thinking about going into this field, something that helps is taking online courses that actually show uh, that you have gone out of your way and taken courses related to biology or something that wasn't there in school because now you've developed interest towards it. That definitely helps. So I hope this was useful. Uh, definitely check out Yocket's uh, services. It's going to be in the description below. Again, they are fantastic. I've worked with them and definitely highly recommend checking it out. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Share this with a friend. Whoever might find it useful. Stay safe. And I will see you guys next week in a brand new video. Take care.